remember me. Last time you saw me, I was shocking. I told you the truth. I told it like it was. Well, now I'm back, and I'm scarier than ever. I don't think you're scary. I think you're funny. We're at Church of England Primary School and our ethos is very much based on inclusion and taking people for who they are and not face value. We do a lot of work in PSHCE around all the issues, so we just thought it'd be a fantastic opportunity for the children. Can I come in? We're hoping that it will teach the children to accept different people in life's rich tapestry and just really to build on the kind of thing that we're trying to do in school every single day. Primary children react to me probably the best of all kids, quite frankly. I would have to say that the responses I get from even the smallest children at three and four and five years old is actually incredible to watch. They don't know the fear and uh, learn behavior based in lack of knowledge. They see me for what I am and uh, we have a lot of fun with them. Now my name is the scary guy, it's my real name. I travel around the world and I help kids learn how to get along with one another. You know why? Because there's too much name calling and pushing and shoving and there's a lot of violence going on on this planet. And I believe that kids can make a difference. So I'm in your school today to teach you guys a really cool program so you can teach the years fives and sixes how to behave. Wouldn't that be cool? Delivering messages of this magnitude, I really think, is important uh, at an earlier age because I really think that they have the ability to comprehend this kind of information. They digest it quicker. They have less blocks on an emotional level. And I don't know if there's enough learned behavior like this, a positive reinforcing that they have the right and power to make these kind of positive changes. All right, let's get started. We're going to start off with the seven pledges old for kids. So I need seven volunteers. Sir, you come on up. Go stand over there by Catherine. There you go. You, know, you please come on up. Go stand right over there. That's it. You come on up. Stand next to her. That's it. Sir, you come on up. Stand next to her. There you go. Don't get too close to your wife. Cool, you right over there with that beautiful blue watch. Come on over here. Stand right over there, 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 there. You please stand right over there. Now I think I have my seven volunteers. Put your hands down, I think I'm right on the money. I'm a master mathematician, I'm an expert at counting. Let me double check my numbers. Here we go, one, three, four, five, six, seven. It appears to me that I have my seven volunteers and I'm right. <laughs> what? How many? Six. You're sick. You don't feel good? <laughs> oh, I need one more. Somebody raise their hand. Sir, come on up. Stand right over here. Pass out a pledge card, Catherine. All right, dude, what is your name? Ben. Come on over here, Ben. Let's get to know you a little more. Where did you get your name, dude? Uh, I'm not quite sure. You're not quite sure where you got the name. Did, you, did your mom and dad buy the name from Boots? <laughs> in primary schools, when we work with years one through four, we divide the program into two segments within 30 minutes. And the first segment is the Seven Pledges Oath for Kids program, and the second one is the Four Rules. And quite frankly, there's a whole lot of humor and there's a lot of fun. We do a lot of laughing and having a good time and because it's a very serious issue. So we put fun out there as a way, as a vehicle to deliver those kind of messages. Are you married? <laughs> 
It appears that Ben is on a clear track of thinking, and we're going to go ahead and have him read number one, dude. Read number one real loud. Always be myself. What? Always be myself. <laughs> You're trying to tell me that I should just be me and you should just be you, dude? They're right on, man. Give him a hand. He rock and rolls. The seven pledges oath for kids, it's pretty simplistic, and they're the basic rules of life, how to, you know, treat others as you'd like to be treated, treat animals with kindness, and other things like that, and um, the kids dig them because they can use these, and they actually take them home and teach their parents. What is your name? Courtney. Are you Courtney? Are you a dancer? <laughs> That's okay, good to meet you. Good to meet you. Let me look here. Let's repeat after me. Ready? Always, Always. Help. help others. others. She's a good reader. Give her a hand, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it's very nice to meet you, Ebony. What's this? <laughs> What's this thing in it? A bobble. Now, let me ask you guys a question. Would I look good with a bobble in my hair? We'll have to test that out later. I, but I like yours, okay? That's really cool. Would you read number three real loud? Always treat animals with kindness. Very good reader. Give her a hand, ladies and gentlemen. She did a super job. Nice to meet you, Daniel. It's good to meet you. <laughs> good to meet you, dude. <laughs> Daniel's a rock and roll star. Did you see him over here? I love you, dude. Read number four. I'll help you. Always? Always. Resolve? Resolve. Conflicts? Conflicts. Without? Fighting. Fighting. Never. Never. Reject. Reject. Anyone. Anyone. Because, because of how, how he or she, he or she looks. looks. Never take drugs. Should we say that together? Never take drugs. Good to meet you, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Repeat after me, number seven. Never, Never. Smoke. smoke cigarettes. cigarettes. He did a good job. Give him a hand, ladies and gentlemen. What we've discovered about introducing the four rules into primary schools is after we leave, we get email messages from teachers and parents and pupils themselves write us, even the little ones, telling us what it's like to help their friends open doors, um, say positive things, how they feel about it. So we're getting positive feedback along the way. So now, this is my world-class assistant, Catherine, and she's gonna help me go over the four rules which teachers you will get a copy of later on and they can actually do projects about the four rules and the seven pledges like art class and stuff like that we need one volunteer for rule one let's see sir could you come on up yeah you come on over here excellent man what is your name Lewis. Lewis. right on this is Catherine Lewis. right on Lewis excellent do you play football dude yes yeah, sometimes right on are those fast not that fast. Turn around this way. There you go. Read rule number one, Catherine. Open one door a day for another person. Lewis and I have to open one door a day for another per for the rest of the school year. Exactly. For nothing in return. Exactly. All right, Lewis, come on. Let me get the door for you, dude. Let's go over here. <laughs> Hold on. Let me get the door. Come on back, dude. Now you notice he went through the door and he kind of gave me a smile. That's pretty cool. But this isn't about thank you. This is about giving for nothing in return. Now teachers, that's hard to teach. Now if they say thank you, that's hip and cool. But I want to know what they find out when they keep giving to help others. It might get contagious. Rule number two, Catherine. Ask permission before touching another person. Are you trying to tell me I can't just run around and push and shove on Tyler and grab his sweatshirt like this when I want to? No, you can't do that. You mean I've been doing this program wrong my whole life? Yep. Time to change. This is Tyler. <laughs> this 
is Tyler's body. <laughs> now here's the rule. I no longer have the right to run around and grab and touch on another person unless I get their permission. All right, rule number three, Catherine. Say only positive things. You mean I can't make up things about Charlotte even if I think it's funny? No. You mean I've been doing this wrong my whole life too? Yes, you have. Oh. Charlotte, you have a great smile. Charlotte, I really like your personality. Now what am I doing? I'm lifting her up with my words. Why? Because it feels good. Kids, if you don't feel good on the inside, don't take your don't feel good and put it down on another person. Find a teacher and talk it out. You guys will listen, won't you? Yes. Right on. Yeah. What's your name, dude? Connor. Who? Connor. Connor. Yeah. Is there a Mrs. Connor here, dude? Yeah. Are you married to her? No. <laughs> I, I can't believe it. That, oh, that's your first name, Connor. That's her last name. That's different. Okay, cool. All right, rule number four. Address each other with appropriate names. Boy, I really messed up on that one, didn't I? So, like, I can't make up a name for Connor because I think it's funny. That's right. It doesn't respect him. Connor. Yeah? How many first names do you have? One. That's it. He's told me. As a friend to Connor, I will not disrespect him. I will always respect my friend Connor and call him by his name. Give him a hand. He rock and rolls. Thank you very much, man. <laughs> All right. Teachers, come on up. Listen carefully. These guys, these women, these beautiful teachers have a very, very cool job ahead because they're going to work with you on emotional intelligence and helping you guys learn this program and how to get along. If you have any questions, make sure you ask your teachers before you take action. Give your teachers a hand. They did a super job. He was actually going to just pop out of nowhere and scare us because of his name. But then he turned out to be a really nice person when he began to speak and I thought, oh, he's nice, he's setting a good example, he's doing a good thing. As a school governor of a Church of England primary school, with no prior knowledge of um, the scary guy, I was very apprehensive um, when I knew that he was coming. I didn't know what his message was and uh, I soon realised on hearing him and seeing him, his message was exactly the same message that I was trying to give to our young children too. Um, when I opened one, a door for one person a day, it made me feel good inside. I've been um, holding a door for people once a day and I've helped um, a person when they've fallen over. It makes you feel like you've done something good and you can do it again. <laughs>